AI is getting smarter every day. Whether you want help with emails, business tasks, or even chores, there's an AI solution for you. Arguably the most advanced and currently most popular AI model is ChatGPT, and its enhancements are the primary focus of this video. However, that's not all. I've also incorporated some of the latest advancements from leading AI companies. So stick with this video to be among the first to hear about them. OpenAI's DALI 3 is a big upgrade from its earlier versions, and now it works really well with ChatGPT. Right now it's being tested by researchers, but there's exciting news coming in October for ChatGPT Plus and enterprise users who can use it through the API. One cool thing about DALI 3 is that it's really good at understanding what users want, especially when they give it long and detailed instructions. According to the official website, DALI 3 is much better at catching all the little details and subtleties in your instructions, which makes it super easy to turn your ideas into really accurate images. A lot of other text-to-image systems often miss out on some words or descriptions, and users have to be really good at giving the right kind of instructions. But with DALI E3, we've made a big leap in being able to create images that match exactly what you describe in your text. In a post by Jim Fan, DALI 3 is not just a stance against mid-journey, it's actually a sneak peek of the upcoming epic battle of massively multimodal LLMs against DeepMind Gemini. Quote, DALI 3 is built natively on ChatGPT. This is the key phrase. DALI 3's extraordinary language alignment is built on a solid textual GPT foundation. Midjourney doesn't really have much reasoning brain, which is why so much prompt hacking is needed. Brain first, pixel second. That's the way to build strong multimodal AI. Absolutely. When DALI is combined with ChatGPT, it becomes a powerful and impressive tool. Moving on to the next is a paper from Google Research that promises exciting features. They have a new way of figuring out how things move in pictures. They learned this by looking at real videos of things like trees, flowers, candles, and clothes blowing in the wind. When they show their computer program a single picture, it can guess how things in the picture might move over time. They call this guess a neural stochastic motion texture. This guess can then be turned into a set of paths that show how things move in a whole video. They can use these paths to do different things, like turning still pictures into videos that look like they're moving or making it seem like people can touch objects in pictures in a real way. In this example, the paper explains, our approach models a generative image space prior on scene dynamics. From a single RGB image, our model generates a neural stochastic motion texture, a motion representation that models dense long-term motion trajectories in the Fourier domain. We show that our motion priors enable applications such as turning a single picture into a seamlessly looping video or simulating object dynamics in response to an interactive user excitation such as dragging and releasing a point on the object. On the right, we visualize the output videos using space-time XT slices through 10 seconds of video, along the scan line shown in the input picture. The next is an equally jaw-dropping paper called MV Dream. It says, a multi-view diffusion model that is able to generate geometrically consistent multi-view images from a given text prompt. By leveraging image diffusion models pre-trained on large-scale web datasets and a multi-view dataset rendered from 3D assets, the resulting multi-view diffusion model can achieve both the generalizability of 2D diffusion and the consistency of 3D data. Such a model can thus be applied as a multi-view prior for 3D generation via score distillation sampling, where it greatly improves the stability of existing 2D lifting methods by solving the 3D consistency problem. Finally, we show that the multi-view diffusion model can also be fine-tuned under a few shot setting for personalized 3D generation that is Dreambooth 3D application, where the consistency can be maintained after learning the subject identity. MV Dream can make 3D pictures that make sense from just one request, and that's totally impressive. It's kind of like Dreambooth 3D because it can learn from a little bit of information to create special pictures. Though the third downside is it doesn't necessarily create raw and new art, just like Midjourney or DALI because it learns from lots of pictures on the internet but it is also powerful since it looks at 3D things from different angles and uses that to make pictures. Now there is also another update on Roblox, as posted by Rowan Chung. He said, Roblox is about to onboard over 200M people to AI. 
They just revealed a new AI chatbot called Roblox Assistant, allowing creators build virtual worlds just by typing prompts. What's even more fascinating is that over 43% of Roblox users are under the age of 13. The next gen of builders will be learning how to talk with AI revolution at a very young age. We're headed into a new era. Indeed, Roblox's assistant is one helpful AI chat partner. It makes life easier for all kinds of creators by doing the boring tasks and leaving the fun stuff to you, like storytelling, game making, and designing cool experiences. With assistant, creators can talk to it like a friend using regular words. They can use it for three main parts of creating. First is learning. Whether you're new or a pro, assistant can answer questions about Roblox in simple words. It can help in coding too. It can make your code better, explain tricky parts or find and fix problems. It helps user to build. You can tell assistant what you want and it will make it happen in your game. For example, you can say, put some street lights here or make a forest with different trees and add some bushes and flowers. Working with assistant is like having a creative friend. You can chat with it, get help, and keep trying things until it's just right. On Twitter, there is a recent post by The Verge that showcases Amazon's latest overhaul of Alexa. Amazon has made a big change to its famous voice assistant, Alexa. It's a huge step forward that changes how people talk with Alexa. Now, when Alexa talks, it sounds more like a real person, not a robot. This is because of a smart technology called a speech-to-speech -speech engine. It listens to how you feel and how you say things, and then it makes Alexa talk in a way that matches. This makes talking with Alexa feel more friendly and understanding. It's not like the old days when Alexa sounded like a machine. Now she sounds like a caring friend, not a robot. Not the best leap by Amazon, but huge enough. Moving on to the last, but certainly a jaw-dropping innovation is VMOD 3D Libraries Fabricator. You can generate 3D fabric textures in seconds with incredible ease using this innovative tool. With just a single prompt, you can create a vast array of original and fully customizable high-resolution 3D fabric textures, all with commercially licensed PBR maps. These textures are not only incredibly versatile, but also perfectly seamless, ensuring your designs are flawless in every way. Plus, you can enjoy super high-resolution textures, with options going up to 4K UHD, guaranteeing hyper-realistic results. And it doesn't stop there. It effortlessly generates high-quality PBR maps, including base, normal, height, and roughness maps, to enhance the realism of your textures. While it's not open to the public yet, you can still join the beta. You simply need to visit their website at https semicolon slash slash vmod.xyz slash fabricator dash generative dash AI. And that concludes today's video. To stay up to date with the latest and most valuable insights in AI, please click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell.